All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to Seopolis, guys. Last episode, we did uh, kind of a big thing. Uh, we went ahead and built up uh, this area over here. Uh, I have lit it up perfectly so no mobs can spawn. We have minimal torches stuff over here. And uh, yeah, guys, we're going to be moving our smeltery down here. It's going to be a 3x3 three three area. Uh, so yeah, super duper excited about this. Also went ahead and added in uh, these half slabs here so we can just run up here. I don't have to really worry about it. Uh, we will be creating this in each of the four sides. So just keep that in mind. We're going to be working on this one for a... Ooh, we're going to be working on this one for a little while. Sorry about that frame drop. And I also forgot that piece of cobblestone. Yeah, and then, uh, by the way, this guardian over here, like, somehow lodged himself, like, into one of the corners and sniped the crap out of me. I wasn't recording, and I was really kind of sad that I wasn't because I, I kind of yelled like a like a wimp <laughs> but yeah anyway i've been cooking up a whole bunch of the seared uh brick we got a whole bunch of grout up here uh that's been feeding into this guy and we've been getting the seared uh bricks so what we're gonna go ahead and do is unfortunately we are going to have to break this guy we love you smell tree i'm so sorry for this oh it hurt it hurt my very core to do that oh okay so we also need to repair our pickaxe uh we need to create some better tools here really soon. We're also going to be working on moving our uh, block production area. So yeah, we got the this guy. And uh, I've already moved the tool station over here. We're going to be putting all of our, uh, like, I guess, tool area stuff over here. Yeah, they're still above. Uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get the rest of this guy moved over. It looks so weird not having that there anymore. Uh, and then we're also going to be moving this setup over there as well so that we can uh, go ahead and automate lava production, kind of. We still have to load it with cobble, uh, but we won't have to do anything else to it, which is going to be sweet. All right. And then the other thing is we are going to have some sort of... Uh, automation like we do here where it instantly pulls it out for us uh, but it's gonna be a little bit different we do have quite a few blocks in here okay oh look at that we have we got some quests there because we had over a stack of those I didn't realize we had that cool beans okay so we don't need to grab that I'm pretty sure that's ouch that's everything for our smeltery um, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on over here. Every time those guys do that little effect, it like messes with my frame rate like crazy. I don't know if any of you guys experience that, but I have been lately and it's kind of infuriating. Okay, so we're going to put this here because when we walk through, this is going to be the smeltery controller. We are going to have, I think we're going to put the tank here. Um, I do believe it, it doesn't really matter which level it's on. Uh, which is cool. Oh, can we stack these for more lava? I haven't tried that out in the newest Tinker's version, so let's go ahead and do that. I don't know if that's stacked or not. It might have. It might not have. Who cares? All right, and then we're going to grab some steered bricks. Let's just see if this completes it. Yes, it does. And I don't know if it holds that. Oh, wait, we have to complete the layer above, maybe? Break that torch. If we do that, oh yes, guys, it does work. We have two. We can we can put a third one down here if we so wanted to. I think I'm going to. Um, but yeah, so this is where all of our tool stations are going to be, and then over here is going to be where our drains are. Um, I'd put this in a not so good spot. We need to move this. Um, tools are there. I think we're just going to put the tanks here. We are a little tight on space, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, and then we also need to make another drain, because we're going to have two of them. All right, so drain here. And how do we make the drain again? Oh, just buy copper and some seared bricks. Do I have any copper? I have Constantin. Not copper, but... Over here, I have been kind of automating it. Uh, so we, what we can do is complete the smell tree briefly to get the copper producing. Just by putting the casting table here. Bam. And so we're going to have a hopper going here, hopper going here, and then a chest in the middle. Uh, so we will still be able to pull items out pretty easily. 
And look at that. Look at all the items we're able to smell. And we are going to go up quite a few more. I don't want to go... Well, we're probably going to go up to the ceiling. Um, yeah, we're going to go up to the ceiling because that's going to be fun. All right, so the copper has been smelted. If I click this, we just need two of these guys. So super duper easy. I really need to move a crafting table over here. I think I have an extra one that I'm just going to go ahead and move over. Yeah, this guy. Okay, so now we should be able to make the... Nope, not able to make the drain. We need more of those. Now we're able to make the drain. Bam. All right. So we're going to break this guy. Put him here, and then we should get it back. Yes, sir. And this is where the casting table will go, or the casting basin. And then we need to break this guy, this guy, and this guy. So we put the chest here. Uh, we should be able to click the chest. Yep. And then can we hit the chest? Yep, perfect. All right, so that is the uh, automate. Can we do this? We can, but I don't want to do that because, as you can see, it's pulling the full bucket out. Um, we're going to do that. That way we can leave this guy on, and then we're going to get a full block of copper. Very cool. All right, so the smell tree is a working. We don't really need... Is there a use for this anymore? You make seared stone out of it. That's not a bad idea. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Wait, 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 wait. We need to check first. Um... Melting. You put it on a on a tool. Now nah, we're just gonna go ahead and, and sm uh, smelt it. It's not too difficult to make. Yeah, super easy for us. Seared gauge, ideal for metals. Holds three molten blocks. Okay, no worries. We'll smelt that up, and that'll give us some seared stone. So let's go ahead and finish. Oh man, we're not gonna be able to do that, are we? Okay. So we're gonna be working on the back here. Thanks for your input. I wasn't asking for it, guy. And we will be switching some of this out with glass. Uh, so that way we can see into the smell tray. It'll just look a whole lot better. Uh, so don't you worry. Perfect. How many slots do we have? Oh my goodness. Look at all of that smelting potential. Woohoo. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to smelt up a bunch of nickel. So 16 plus. So we got 26. Do we have any more nickel? Got that there. Okay. So we've got over half a stack of nickel. So what we can go ahead and do is put it all in there. So awesome. Okay. So now we need to move our crucible over. Um, wait a second. We do have the ability now to pump the fluid out automatically. Because we made the fluid pipes. The mechanical pipes. Yes. All right. Break that, break that. We will lose this lava, not to worry. Okay. Put that there for now. Okay. So, we're going to break this guy. What we are going to do is put this guy here. Uh, mechanical pipe, like so. We're going to configure it to pull out. We can put this here to heat up temporarily, and then that, and a chest full of... Does that work? No, this does not smelt like that. Okay, that is fine. We'll just grab a bunch of cobble because I need to get all that cobble out of there so we stop losing it. That makes sense, right? That guy said no. He said it don't make sense. He's taking damage. Good. Okay, <laughs> that guy died. All right, so here, 
Yep, that's filling up. Lava is going in. Now the question that I have is once this is filled, will this fill up too? Does it like connect? That's a good question. I don't know. All right, so we've made up a little bit of this seared glass. So we're going to go temporarily break this here. Uh, and then we're going to see if the smeltery comes back online with just this like that yes it does perfect so we can go look in there it's gonna look great so we're gonna do this pretty much all the way up i don't know why i didn't do this off the bat i feel kind of dumb okay so here we go yes that looks sick okay so this side isn't really gonna have anything which is unfortunate but uh We'll make it look pretty good. All right, so with that done, I'm actually gonna go ahead and place one here just to keep the look the same. And I also think we should put one here. Uh, now we're only gonna be putting it um, on these two sides because I don't really want you to be able to see back there. Because I mean, for one, we have this setup which is a little ugly and we'd like to keep that hidden as much as we can. Uh, keep that out of burning your eyes. Uh, but yeah, check it out, we have that. That looks sick. I like it, and I didn't even do it over here. Okay, so that should be fine. Hey. Hey, come here. Okay, we got it. All right, so the smeltery has its new home. Very cool. We're over here. I think all of the nickel is not gone. Okay, we just need to update that, super cool. And then, yeah, so what I'd also like to do is we're gonna put these support pillars going up in the corners. Uh, so that's why I left those blank, because you could just fill them up uh, with more seared brick, but I think it would look cooler if we had uh, the different color blocks. Plus, we automate, we've, we've automated these, so we don't really waste anything by using them. And it also goes with our build. Uh, so yeah, that's how it's gonna look. Let's see. Hmm, that lined up pretty good. Okay, that doesn't look half bad. It looks kind of weird and kind of not weird at the same time. I don't know how to describe that. But uh, yeah, we're going to leave it uh, just because, you know, it goes with the aesthetic and for consistency. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone about that block. Uh, yeah, we're going to leave it like so. All right. So now our tinkery set, our tinker uh, smelter setup has been moved. So yeah, it looks pretty neat. Okay, guys. So for the next part of our journey, we're gonna be kind of automating the overworld uh, matter. Uh, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna take some of these guys here. And yes, we're gonna use the leaves to do this, bam. Okay, so then we also have the mechanical fluid pipes, so we can configure these to pull the overworld essence out. So let me do that real quick. All right, so those have all been configured, and then we're gonna go ahead and grab some redstone. I totally forgot to craft this up, forgive me. Uh, we need to get a tank. Um, one, two, three, four. We're gonna do a mechanism tank here. I've changed the recipe. What is it now? Oh, I just did it backwards. Okay, so here's our tank. Basic fluid tank uh, to upgrade this. We will need the infused alloy, which is gonna require us to get into uh, mechanism, which we don't have just yet. Um. So we're going to be doing that. Now when we put leaves in here, we're going to be getting that overworld thingamabob. Uh, so that means we're going to need to make quite a few more botany pots so we can start to get leaves kind of semi-automated. Um, yeah, because what I would like to do is set it up so that um, these are all drawers and there's botany pots over them and these just have leaves in them so it'll destroy the other things that are there i think it causes a little bit of lag which isn't too much to worry about um and then it'll just basically pump out a bunch of leaves so we need to make a bunch of 
Um, clay. So let me see where is my clay at. I've got a little bit of clay on me. I would like some more for the botany pots. I don't have a whole lot. Okay, so what we will do is, for one, uh, shut this guy off, turn this guy on, and then throw in the clay. As we'll get 27 terracotta. I keep wanting to call it hardened clay. I know it's not called that anymore. I'm sorry. And then we need some gravel to sift. All right, so I'm going to sift this up real quick. And we'll be back, bro chachos. All right, so we have the required amount of stuff to make the hopper botany pots. We got our five here. Perfect. All right, so we do need to go ahead and change those all to drawers. Uh, shouldn't be too difficult. We just got to make them. Uh, so let's see here. We just need five. So one, two, and then we just grab you. Bam, five. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how well our plan is going to work. Oh, we need a key. Otherwise, it won't work. So we need this drawer key. Okay, so let's make this up real quick. We need one more drawer. Uh, I believe we have an extra one just chilling. It's just chilling somewhere. There we go, a two by something. Uh, so we should be able to turn this, yes, with just some sticks, we turn it into the Loch Ness Monster, you know, because that's logical. Okay. So here we go. Bam. Oh, wow, I feel really weird doing that. Get some gold. We need some ingots or nuggets. Bam. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to break all of those chests. We're going to put these five oak drawers down, and then we're going to lock them. So we break you. That, that went somewhere. Where did those guys go? Okay, there they are. So bam, 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 bam. There we go. These are all locked. Botany pots up top. Okay, the five dirt. <laughs> yep, dirt's in there. And then we grab five saplings, which we forgot to grab earlier. That's okay. Don't worry. That's Those are leaves. Uh, yeah, and we're going to grab five leaves as well. Okay. Uh, so we're going to do the leaves first so that we have a spot for them to go. So you go here, you go here. Bam. All right, those are all locked only to accept the leaves. And those are there. So this thing is semi-automated. Um, like, we don't have to come back here, add any leaves. But we will need to replace this from time to time. Look at that. We have six and a half buckets already. We haven't even done anything. Uh, now, the next thing is I want to see if we are able um, to use lava here. Um... Okay, so this answers my question. No, it does not fill that up, unfortunately, which makes me a little bit sad, not going to lie. But we can do other things, I guess. Um, like, for one, we can make an upgrade. So let's see. So gold is eight times. What is iron? Four times. Okay, so we're going to use the gold uh, to do some upgrades here. Upgrades, people, upgrades. We're going to put this on this guy. So now we'll have a whole bunch of wood that will be able to hold more than it did. So this is, let's see, 8 times 3 is 24 times. So it's almost the equivalent of one emerald upgrade, which is a lot when you think about it. Okay. All right. So here I have um, a, an iron bucket. Dear God. There's more. We put the lava here. Okay. So it's at five now, and we put this guy here. We're at 50. Holy crap, Batman. That is fantastic. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be doing that on this guy as well. Whoops, not there. Okay, do we have enough yet? We don't quite have enough. We've removed the ability for us to have enough. I'm going to have to break this guy temporarily. Okay, let this, let this process up. Uh, we got a lot of cobble. Holy heck, 50? 
That is gonna make it so fast. All right, so we got leaves going in. Look at that, they're already done. Oh my goodness, that makes me happy. All right, once we get enough for a lava, we're gonna be putting that underneath so that we're making buckets of it. And then we're also gonna go ahead and put in another pipe here just to fill in the top one. Just so we have a lot of lava on hand and we can do all of this smelting. And there we go, we got a bucket. So we're gonna break this guy. Bam, now it's at 50. I can't believe I didn't do this before. Look at that, the uh, hopper probably can't keep up with this. Yeah, it's so fast the hoppers can't keep up. Perfect, that's exactly what we want. Look at that, we already have half a bucket of lava. Ooh, we might need to put like three different chests here. That would be so cool. All right, so we've got, whoop, ah, we, uh, all right, so we've got these two things set up. Let's go ahead and view our quests. Eventually, we'll go over to that, but we're going to be moving past that real quick. We got all the iron sieving. Next level automation. Ah, that's okay. Um, gas pipe, energy pipe, item pipe. I mean, we have that pretty much. Oh, that's easy to make. We have pretty much everything that we want for uh, getting stuff around. Hello? Okay, uh, so let's go ahead, look up thermal expansion. We're gonna get into machines, okay. So a machine frame is gonna require those plates. Uh, cool thing is that we do have that plate cast made that we made a couple episodes ago. Might have been last episode, might have been a couple episodes. I don't know, um, but we're gonna be grabbing these guys. We're gonna grab all of our tinkers. Um, dudes as well, I call them dudes because I forgot their name. Maybe here. Yes, part chest. That's the one that I was looking for, but I grabbed the other ones just in case. All right. So, oh, that's right. We have this here. Um, parts. Part builder. Oh. We can't store those there. That's kind of lame. Not going to lie. Okay, we're going to put this chest here. This is where our things are going to go. Small plates. Uh, probably should have put that over here. Not going to lie. Yeah, we're going to move it to there, because having it here just don't make no sense, you know what I mean? Why would you want to walk all the way around just to get to your stuff? Okay, so bam, bam, those are there. We can just swap this guy out and then put him in there. Super duper cool. All right, so for this guy, we're going to need a bronze gear. Okay, so uh, I do have a couple of these. So I want to get quite a few of these guys set up eventually. We do have 10... We can give this guy some food. And we got some copper. So we can make the bronze. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So we will shut this guy down. And then it's three to one, right, for, for bronze. Yep, uh, three to one, okay. So... All right, we'll put in 20. So 15 copper and then 5 tin. And then because those are off, these will fuse together and we will get the bronze. There's our tin. And then our copper goes in and we are making ourselves some bronze. Cool. So let's see. We need gear. We can just click it to get the gear. Then it'll go in. Now we have four blocks available. Uh, yeah, we'll just do that. So now we can actually go ahead and get the uh, that anvil that we haven't gotten yet, which will be fun. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and make some electrum. Now, I do believe silver gives us two ingots per one of the chunks. I'm not too sure, so I want to go ahead and test that out real quick. So we put 10 in here. If so, we're going to go ahead and throw in some gold chunks, and then we will uh, put in four of the uh, ingots here. Two blocks. Yeah, so it does give us 20. Um, so then we'll do one, two, three, four. Four, and then we'll be able to make all of the electrum that we want. All right, there we go. 
And then we are going to be making quite a few plates. Looks like we need four plates. That's fine. That's two, three, and four. All right, well, look at that. We got four blocks left. Uh, we are going to turn these uh, into ingots, and then uh, we'll be getting a bit of iron because that's what we need to do next, I believe. Yes, iron plates. Perfect. All right, we have the iron in here now. We have seven ingots. I'm just going to go ahead and turn that on. We're going to make seven plates because we might need them in the future. Um, yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, so we have all of the items here that we want. Did I move that? No, we're gonna we're gonna bring a uh, yeah crafting table here. Uh, we'll just put it here for now, and then we will make our machine frame. So cool. All right, so we got our machine frame crafted up. What's next? Induction smelter. We could do that. I really, really want to make a blast chiller, but we need to make the induction smelter because uh, that's what's next. All right, so invar is nickel. So it's two to one, two iron, one nickel. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the chunks up here. I actually should have a bit in here as well. Yes. So we have 16, so two to one. Uh, if I did a full stack of iron... That would be fantastic. I know I've got a bunch of iron somewhere. There it is. All right, so we're going to do the two to one. We're going to turn off the auto guys. And then 16 nickels, 64 iron. We'll have to put them in at separate times, unfortunately, which is fine. Uh, but let's come back here. Check it out. So I didn't do that thing yet, but we are 100% full on lava, and it comes back fast, guys. It's fantastic. All right, so more iron here. That's the full stack. There's the invar that we so love. Yes. Okay, so uh, we're going to be turning these into the ingots, right? No, we need invar gears. I'm glad I checked. Okay, so we're only going to make... Actually, no, I, I want to make two of these. I don't want to risk turning them into gears. I mean, we could always just resmelt them, but not today. Okay. So there we go, overkill on the amount of invar that we have, but after this is done, I'm going to convert these all into ingots, because then we just need, ooh, we need another blast furnace. Those aren't cheap. <clears throat> okay, so we should have everything we need to go ahead and make I believe two blast furnace. Yes, yeah, so that's everything except for the block of redstone. And with that, bam, we have our induction smelter. Super uh, duper cool. And that wants us to make some ender. Interesting. How does it? These things can be melted down the smeltery. Completing this quest unlocks the end quest line in exploration. Okay, red alloy used to make higher level thermal machines. Okay, so the induction smelter, iron, four redstone, and copper. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and chuck this guy right here next to our power. Oh my lord, we're filled again. Uh, so I, I'm pumping the um, gravel here, or the smooth stone that we're hammering up, I'm pumping it into our sifter. And we are getting a crazy amount of resources. Uh, I've been doing this for the dust. But my goodness, we have got so much tiny coal. It's fantastic. We can just chuck them all in here. And then we're going to compress up the flint. Call it good. Let's see. We make a flint sword. That's pretty neat. What is the flint like used for? Uh, just really making the... Flint sieves. All right, no worries. Uh, but yeah, we've cleared up a bunch of space so that this can keep going. Perfect. All right, so the induction smelter. Let's go ahead and grab some redstone, grab some iron, and some 
copper. Now, do we... I think we've got some here. Yes. Yes, sir. Make 29. Perfect. We'll get these bad boys smelted up in our coolie hooly thingamadoo hickey. All right, so we are now processing up some copper. I just realized I had some in here already. Dope. That was kind of dumb. So let's go ahead and put these guys in here. Now, I don't know the conversion rates exactly. Uh, it's one to four to one. We'll just do that. Four. Yeah, we, we get to keep four of these. All right, so that'll make us up, I think, 11 of these cool ingots. How are we doing on power? We seem to be doing okay. I don't know how that guy's doing. Ooh, we got two ingots. Okay. Red alloy. Perfect. Now we can make these guys. And you just pour gold onto them. That's kind of weird. But we got the gold. All right, so I'm going to let all of this continue to uh, get out of here. <laughs> and then we will... Uh, We'll, we'll, we'll do it after that. All right, so the, the copper has been cleared out. So we can go ahead and place that guy in. We're waiting for the gold to go ahead and finish up. And just before I started recording, I'm pretty sure that the guy causing that just killed a dolphin. And I'm really sad about it. He's been killing fish, man. That guy's a vicious. That was him. He's a murderer. All right. So, back here to the gold. Yes, we have a block. Okay. All right. And boom, we're done ski. Awesome. So, we have the redstone flux coil now. Very cool. We're going to go put the ingot cast back in and turn this guy on. All right. So this has opened the door to the Blast Chiller Redstone Furnace, Sequential Fabricator, Multi-Servo multi Press, Fluid, Sawmill, Blast Chiller. This is what I want really bad because this will allow us to make a netherrack and we can start to get some of those nether ores that we desperately need. Uh, we can even get a snowball. That's pretty cold. Blast Chiller. Yeah. Ooh, we put a cast in. Interesting. Okay. Uh, what, is, uh, what does this guy do? Oh, it just compresses things. Breaks them down, maybe? I don't know. It doesn't seem like we really need it all that much. Diamonds. 32 coal. Oh! That's why we need it. And we get coal from sifting the overworld matter. Yes. And that will give us the diamonds that we need to go ahead and make the diamond sieve. Or the diamond mesh. Or not. Redstone server. Okay, so this is where that diamond comes into play. Okay. Um, Multi-press servo. Yes, so we are definitely going to need this guy. Uh, but we will be worrying about that in the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. You guys are fantastic. I will see you all in the next video, guys. We're going to be getting into that. We're going to be getting diamonds. Freaking diamonds, peoples. All right, so I'll see you then. Make make sure you will look out for it. Be cool. Get diamonds. You have diamonds. Hey, Glitter, so my poop said, probably get diamonds. Bye.